Let's try this. This is our Sundance. Sundance, yeah. <laughs> Sundance. <laughs> to the end of another season here at the Chuck White and Cowboy Show? Let me tell you, it's been a season of non-stop yeehaw yums! <laughs> now, you know, it just seems like yesterday we were setting for the season premiere, and now we're getting ready to hitch up the wagons and hit the trail for a spell. But before we do that, we've got something really special for y'all. It's a season-ending episode full of mistakes, bloopers, guffaws, and yeehaws from this past season's filmings. Just some knee-slapping, chuckle-worthy moments that we just thought we'd share with y'all. So sit back and enjoy the Chuck White Cowboy Show right now! It would help if I turn this around. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. All right. Let's do this uh, closer up shot here on this. Okay. This is the opening for the Chuck White Cowboy Show Christmas episode. In five, four, three. Season's greetings, folks. And coming up right now is our f Nah. <laughs> oh my god, all right. We're having fun here. Yeah. Oh, let me get in position. Let's try this again. Okay, Chuck White and Cowboy Show, Season 2, Episode 1, 201, Take 1. Well, howdy everyone. I bet you're sitting there nice and comfortable at your homes right now, and you're probably sitting in a nice easy chair, and maybe you're holding a nice cold one there, and a couple meal. Well, howdy y'all. I bet you're sitting all nice and comfortable there in that home of yours, and probably having a nice... I don't like that. All right, let's try this. This is our Sundance. Sundance, yeah. <laughs> Sundance. All right, let me get a glass of water here quick. Well, howdy, y'all, and welcome to another episode in... Let's try that again. It's Valentine's Day, and... Let's try that one more time. This is the opening for Creme Brulee. For pumpkin brulee. Okay, opening for turkey and cranberry sauce. Short version for that. Mm, sorry. Honey glazed turkey breast with apple cranberry sauce. That's nah. Honey bla honey glazed. <laughs> In five. <laughs> In five, four, three. <laughs> sorry. In five. Woof. In five, four. Let's do this. In. <clears throat> That's right, we gotta be up here too more. That's right, here we go, this looks better. Okay, easy pumpkin pie opening. Take one. In. <clears throat> up here. Alright. Let's do this, see if we can do this in one take. In five. Okay. Ah. Chicken and stuffing, two great flavors. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> this looks blue in the camera for some reason, it's strange. There's something a little fishy going on in this kitchen. If, uh, go ahead, yeah. <laughs> All right. We got a great Kugel idea for you. No. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. This is the last episode of the Chuck White and Cowboy Show featuring Ron Locke. 
and this is going to be here the last pork chops with bacon stuffed potatoes. Couldn't give me a much difficult, more harder type of a title to work with, huh? All right. Okay, real quick. We should be really good at this now. Chuck White Cowboy, intro. Zesty open-faced roast sandwiches. Opening in five, four, three. No, oh, I knew it was gonna happen. I'm sorry. Zesty open-faced roast sandwich. That's on the menu for this episode coming up right now on the Chuck Wagon Cowboy Show. There you go. Let's go over to our ingredient roundup and show you what we're going to be putting into this. Let's get on with the ingredients, shall we? All right. So you're probably wondering what's going in this, right? Well, let's walk over to our ingredient roundup here and we're going to show you what it is, all right? So stage one of our ingredient roundup includes let me go over here to the ingredient roundup and show you what is all going into our marinade. Let's show you what's going into Mama's bread stuffing over here in our ingredient roundup, all right? All right. By going over to our ingredient roundup right over here and show you what we're making with it, all right? So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and show you some ingredients. And the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is go over to our ingredient roundup over here. We're back here. Now we're going to go ahead and start showing you the ingredient roundup by showing you our ingredient roundup and what's all going into that, all right? So let's mosey on over here and, you know, just stick with me here a little bit. Why don't we just go ahead and show you over here in the ingredient roundup exactly what's going in to this recipe, all right? So let's go ahead over to our ingredient roundup. Let's get started, all right? Now, we're going to go ahead over to our ingredient roundup. Pretty simple stuff. Let's show you our ingredient roundup over here, all right? Let's go ahead to our ingredient roundup. We're going to go ahead and show you. But we're ready for ingredient roundup number two. Our ingredient roundup. And our ingredient roundup over here. We'll go over here to our ingredient roundup. All right, enough about me yakking, right? Let's get over and show you those ingredients, right? All right. First off here, we've got here. Next up here, we've got here. Next up here. Next up here. First off here, we have, we got here. We got here, here, got here, next here. First off here, we've got, we've got here, we've got here, we have here. Let's keep going here. We've got here, next here I've got, first thing we've got here, we've got here, we've got here. First off here, we've got, we have, we have here. First off, we've got here, next off we've got here, next here we've got, then next here we've got, we've got here. Well, first off here, we've got, next up here. Next off here, next off here, all right? That's it, that's what the ingredients are. You are watching WYE The Network. sleeves up because I'm going to be getting into the food here. Go ahead and roll these sleeves up a little bit because we're going to get to work here. I forgot to roll my sleeves up and I forgot to talk about kitchen hygiene. Well, I'm going to try to work this in to the next segment here so it's just everything this stuff has to move so fast when you're making it with the hot water that you ain't got a lot of time to sit and think. I'm also gonna roll up my sleeves for this portion. We're gonna go ahead and roll up our sleeves here because we won't get down and dirty in this stuff here. This recipe because I'm gonna get my hands involved in this again. Push them up here in just uh, two shakes of a lamb's tail here because <laughs> we're gonna be building sandwiches. We're gonna be building 16 sandwiches all together. Oh boy. Guess what? I'm going to get my hands involved here again. <laughs> As I'm doing almost every recipe that I do. Maybe today the sleeves will go up a little easier. You notice the last couple episodes we've done, I've had a tough time getting these sleeves up. So we're going to go ahead and roll up our sleeves and get to work on this fantastic sundown scallops and saffron cream sauce. Can't roll my sleeves up this week because I got short sleeves on with the jersey. So we're all good to go. That's one less step I have to do. So, um, all right. Let me wash my hands again here. I wanna just. There. That's 
better. All right, I gotta set this up and uh, we'll do our final thing on it in a bit. Make sure you're washing your hands through the whole course of cooking, especially if you're touching anything, uh, because that's extremely important. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now with my hands because, because we're gonna be using them in this layering technique, or stage three, as I call it. I'm gonna go ahead right now and wash my hands because I'm gonna be playing in the food again. It's this it's a good recipe for playing around the food. <laughs> And like I said, I'll tell you what, I think I probably did more of that growing up than probably eating it sometimes. <laughs> so, what we first want to do, I want to be touching a little bit of food here, here and there. So, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands right now and uh, get started on this fantastic lasagna that we're putting all together for you here. Make sure your hands are nice and clean. I'm going to quick wash my hands here because we're going to get into this crust. And you have to press the crust in. So I'm gonna go over to the kitchen sink here real quick and wash these hands like that. And also make sure that your hands have been washed. Now I'm gonna roll up my sleeves here because we're gonna to get to work and actually I'm gonna be using my hands a little bit here in this recipe so we're gonna go ahead and just wash them up here in just uh, two shakes of a lamb's tail here <laughs> as soon as I get these sleeves up. There we go. All right. I'll go ahead and wash my hands real quick. I'm going to wash my hands because I'm going to get in the food here in just a second. All right. There we go. Now, if you were playing with your dough there, I assume you've already gone ahead and washed your hands, right? Okay, I hope you did. Now, I'm sure you did. And I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands right now because I'm going to start getting into the food. And a lot of these ingredients that are going to be going into this are going to need my hands involved, all right? You see, my sleeves are rolled up. I hadn't even gotten a chance to even tell you like I normally do on every episode. And of course, you want to make sure that your kitchen environment's nice and clean, your hands are nice and clean, all the things I always tell you, right? Next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and wash my hands because I'm going to be playing in the food a little bit. <laughs> Don't I always? <laughs> so, all right, there we go. I'm going to wash my hands because I'm done playing in the food for a bit now, at least for this particular part. And I'm going to go ahead and wash them here as soon as I get these sleeves rolled up. Take a second here. All right, got this one don't want to work. Come on. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know what? Sometimes you just can't get things to work when you want them to, right? <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, I think we're ready to go. Let me wash my hands real quick here. And... Uh, and we're all set to go. All right. I'm gonna wash my hands here just to ensure that they're nice and clean. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. Sometimes then it's just like rustling with a pig. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. Now, I'm gonna wash my hands because, yes I am, I'm getting my hands in my food. <laughs> all right, we're good to go. Hands are clean, we're all it's rolled up and ready to go here. start making our bacon and pecan sweet potatoes all right now in front of me here I've got my bowl my 40 ounce can of sweet potatoes that have been drained in a large bowl here medium to large size bowl first thing you want to go ahead and do get yourself a potato masher and there are different varieties and 
looks and such, but get a masher, and all you're going to do is just go ahead and mash your potatoes, okay? Now, that's the first step here, and that'll just take us a couple seconds here.
I've just ranted and raved and talked about that, we're already at a point of having everything nicely mashed up. All right. Try this recipe. This gets a yeehaw yum! It's yeehaw yum! Yeehaw yum! A yeehaw yum! Pork chop. Yeehaw yum! Yeehaw yum! Yeehaw yum! And that is a yeehaw yum mouthful. This gets a yeehaw yum! This gets a yeehaw yum! One phrase for that I'm gonna tell you right now is yeehaw yum! Yeehaw yum! 
That is so yee-haw yum! Major yee-haw yum! Yee-haw yum! A yee-haw yum! A colossal yee-haw yum! A yee-haw yum! A yee-haw yum! Yee-haw yum! Yee-haw yum! <laughs> it is so good! Well, I reckon those are some of the funniest things I've seen yet. Don't you agree? And it was sure fun to go ahead and share those with you as well. But, it looks like time's run out again on another episode of our show. You know, the Chuck Wagon Cowboy Show gang and I want to thank each and every one of y'all for your continued interest and support throughout the season. It means a lot. It really does. I mean, cause heck, without your interest, I mean, there really wouldn't be a reason for us doing what we do here. And... Thanks again for watching another episode and another season of the Chuck Wagon Cowboy Show. I'm Chef Ron Lott. Me and the entire Chuck Wagon Cowboy Show gang will see you next season. But until then, as I always say when we close each episode, get off that couch and get cooking! This is Chef Ron Lott, signing off as I always do, by saying, get off that couch and get We'll see you next time.